Looking for a small portable projector with the best picture quality? Check out the Nebula Capsule 3. Hi, this is David at Techlababa. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, let's unbox and check out the Nebula Anchor Capsule 3 projector and its many features. It's one of the smallest laser projectors around. Has a flexible Android TV 11 operating system for most of the streaming needs and a building battery. I think this is the best portable projector around in 2023. The Capsule 3 projector comes in a nice looking hard black box. There's a little tab on the side to pull open the box. This side is held closed by a couple of magnets. The inside of the box is nicely printed too to highlight its laser portable projector. There is a thin black box on top. Let's see, inside this thin box, there is the remote. Good that a couple of AAA batteries are included. And there's a quick start guide booklet. Inside another black box, a power adapter with an USB-C port for charging, and an USB-C to USB-C charging cable. Finally, the projector. Wow, it's really small, but solid. Let's check out the projector in more detail. The Capsule 3 has a black and mostly metallic case. It's in a cylindrical shape, measures less than 7 inches tall, about 6.7 inches, and just 3.3 .3 inches in diameter. It's even smaller than my 28 ounce blender bottle. It does have a good solid weight to it though, heavier than it looks at 2.1 pounds. Still pretty light for a laser projector. On the top, there are touch control buttons. There are the navigation, volume up, down, and return buttons. They're just lightly marked in gray, but are backlit when activated, so they're easy to see in the dark. The front of the projector has the lens with the laser projection inside. The projector's native resolution is 1080p and outputs 300 NC lumens. Not the brightest compared to some portable LED projectors, but laser projection should yield better picture quality in terms of color and contrast, which we'll check out very soon. Just above the red Nebula logo on the bottom, there is a little camera for autofocus and auto keystone correction. These are two very useful features for a portable projector like this, as it gets set up at different locations frequently. The cover for the sides and back is a grill with holes for great ventilation and sound from the 8 watt speaker inside. In the back, there is an infrared receiver, a mode button, and a power button. The power button glows red when charging and green when it's fully charged. It takes about 3 hours to charge the 52 watt hour internal battery. A fully charged battery can last up to 2.5 hours in battery or less bright mode. In the brighter standard mode, it lasts for about one and a half hours. It'll last about eight hours if the projector is only used as a Bluetooth speaker. Towards the bottom, there's an auxiliary out port to connect to external speakers. The HDMI arc port, so this can also be connect to a receiver or power speaker for better sound and the USB-C port. This USB-C port is used for charging and connecting to an external drive with photos, videos, and music to play back on the projector. On the bottom, there's a quarter inch socket in the center for mounting, surrounded by a ring of rubber feet so the projector can also be placed on a table without sliding around. The remote is also black. It's almost as long or tall as the projector. The rubbery buttons are easy to press. There are buttons for power, focus adjust, Google Assistant voice control, navigation, return, settings, home, and volume up and down. All right, let's turn on the projector and see how it performs. Here I just have it set up on a tripod projecting onto a blank wall in my room. The screen's about 100 inches, and the projector is about 104 inches from the wall. So the throw ratio is almost one to one. 
I love how this projector can autofocus and autocorrect both vertical and horizontal keystones up to plus or minus 40 degrees. The projector will try to do so when it's moved. If it doesn't, I could trigger it from this focus button on the remote or in the settings menu. These two auto features make the projector so easy to move around and set up. The default brightness can also be adjusted. Under projector settings, brightness, when this is set to auto, when plugged in, the projector will default to 100% 300 NC lumen brightness and about 40% brightness on battery power. What's cool is I could force it to run on 100% standard brightness even on battery power, if I don't mind the shorter battery life, of course. Many projectors with internal batteries don't have this option. The Capsule 3 comes with Android TV 11.0 with many apps and games to download from the Google Play Store. One very popular app is curiously missing though on the Nebula projectors. Netflix. There is a workaround using the Nabula Manager app and the mobile version of Netflix at this time. I'll link the instructions in the description below. Of course, another quick fix is to just plug in a TV stick like Roku. Here is the YouTube app playing one of my videos in 100% brightness. At 300 NZ lumens, if I have the light on the other side of the room on, the image is a bit washed out as expected. When I turn the light off, the image gets much better. With laser projection, due to more precise color rendition and better contrast, the image comes across brighter than it is. Here is a HDR video which really shows it off. The fan in the projector is very quiet. I can hardly hear it most of the time. Let's turn up the sound and hear how the AWOS speaker does. bad for such a small projector, loud enough and more than adequate for a quick and casual TV show or movie. My kids and I also love to plug in our Switch, also very portable, to play games on a big screen. This combination is very popular when our family travels. Now the Android TV operating system does slow down and become sluggish for me sometimes, and I really wish Netflix is properly supported. I'd also love this projector even more if it's brighter. If an internal battery is not a requirement, I'd also look into the XGME Elfin projector which I reviewed earlier. It's even lighter and there's a good sale on that projector these days. You can check out the video link here and in the description below next if interested. The Nebula Capsule 3 laser projector costs 799 US dollars. There are additional discounts from time to time now in the link I'll put in the description below. I'll also put a link to refurbished ones at about $150 less. While this is expensive for a portable projector, I think we get what we pay for with the Capsule 3. It's the only portable projector now with laser projection, which produces great image quality. It sounds good. It's smart with apps and games on Android TV 11. It has autofocus and keystone correction and a built-in battery. But most important to me, it has all these features packed in a very small portable form factor. I just love taking this projector traveling or just around the house, simply point it at a wall or a large screen to stream a show or a movie without any wires. What do you plan to use a portable projector for? Have you found a good one? Share with me in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you find any part of this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. If you want to see more videos on how technology can enhance our life with kids and family, subscribe and check out this video next. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, remember to cherish each moment.